In this video, I'm gonna teach you how and where to enter into your trades. I'm gonna teach you how to become better at exiting your trades for a bigger profit. I'm gonna also teach you how to cut your losing trades way quicker so you're not taking big, gigantic losses. And if you miss any portion of today's video and you skip out, huh, you could lose a lot of money, guys. So make sure to watch the end of this full video. Uh, go to the bottom right here, hit a like right quick, and I'll see you guys into the breakdown. So if you ever wanted to learn how to trade, how to chart, market structure is the bare bone foundation of your trading platform and career. As a beginner, let's speak about what even is market structure. So market structure is understanding where a stock chart is going in hindsight before you actually buy into a trade. So you can make money off of these charts easily as such as I done. I make about 20K a month I'm trading right now and it's because I understand where the charts are going. So in today's class, I wanna teach you about market structure so you guys can know if we're, e if we're either in a bull market, which is the market that's going up in price, or if we're in a bear market, which is a market that's going going down in price, right? So let's first start off first with a bullish market, guys. A bullish market is a market where the buyer's pressure is basically outweighing the selling pressure, right? So you're gonna be seeing what we call as higher highs and higher lows, higher highs, higher lows in the market. But what this is right here is establishing a consistent trend that's continually pushing to the upside. Now in a bearish market, guys, you can make a lot of money on bearish markets by buying puts in the options trading world or buying shorts in any other market. So with a bearish market, you're gonna be seeing lower highs and a low, I mean, so lower lows, lower highs, right? Lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. That's gonna give you a very consistent trend and movement to the downside, which is establishing a little bit of a trend above their head, right? So if you wanna see on a real life chart, this is exactly how easy it is to learn market structure. So in a bullish market right here, so let me this candlestick green so we can symbolize bullish pressure, right? This right here is a higher high, this here is a higher low. Here's a higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low. And this seems pretty easy, right? But now what happens whenever the market has a shift in price. We call this right here a change of character. And a change of character occurs, let's say right now I'm in a bearish market, right? So let's go back. A bearish market, we're seeing lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, lower highs. So right here, I'm seeing lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, but boom, we spike back up and now we create a higher high. So this candlestick makes a movement above the most recent lower high right here, which is creating a change of character. Write that down, that's free game. So in a bullish market guys this is where a change of character will look like right here this candlestick right here guys this is symbolizing that the price was just now taken out this most recent higher low right here was taken out because right here guys this is my higher high right here higher high higher high right there and then right here easily said guys we have now my what's this called guys let me know in the chat higher low and again guys right here same thing right here is my higher high right here guys in the chat again right here is my higher low and then right here this line right here in yellow I'm I'm gonna highlight that right there. I'm gonna write out it is a C O C H, which means it is a change of character. So think about it, right? Originally, we we're in a bullish market. As you can see, we're continually holding this trend line that's pushing us all the way to the upside, right? And then now we have a drop right here, a drop that actually goes below, and this drop goes below my most recent higher low, which is right here, right? So because the market made a push through my higher low right here, now we're changing character now to the bearish market. So now the market guys, we actually have created what's called it right here, guys. Let me know in the chat. Pause it and let me know. Right here, it's called a lower low. And after the next move to the upside right here, this one right here, guys, is going to be called what? Let, let me know in the chat real quick if you know. Who knows? This is going to be called a lower high. A lower high. Very simple as that. And then now again, the market's going to be creating some more. What's next, guys? Some more lower lows right here. Again, right here, same thing, guys. It's going to be creating, again, guys, a lower high again. And in a bearish market, guys, this is all you're going to be seeing. All you're going to be seeing is lower lows, lower highs. Lower lows, lower highs lower lows right and where you want to be as a trader is a sweet spot right here you want to be patient and wait for a market to create this change of character as such this is a very very good trading strategy and then after that you want to wait guys this is very very important this is the most important part after you create this change of character right here guys right wait for the market to actually pull back and establish another lower high right here and right here is your entry whenever you want to go short in the market and you want to place your stop loss right at your previous higher high which is right here right so a stop loss basically is your margin of error this is going to save you in case your trade goes against you and then you want to go ahead and target right here guys target on breaking below this lower low right here and you want to target getting down below right here this lower low and establishing a brand new low in the market and this is as you can see right here is highlighted in this document right so let's say i'm looking for a short 
position, right? Let's say I'm in an uptrend right here, uptrend, higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high, boom, change your character right here. And then after that, we see an upside move right here. And you want to go ahead and buy a trade right here with a stop loss at your most recent higher high. And you want to target to create some new lower lows. And if you're looking for a buy in the market, guys, how would I do that? Same thing. I see a lower high right here, lower low, lower high, lower low. And then recently we create a breakage of this trend line right here, which is creating a change of character. And I want to buy my buying position right here at my most recent lower low. And I want to target to get above this most recent higher low right here to establish a higher high. So this is exactly how the market moves at a very foundational level. And the people that make the most money from trading, they're capturing what we call is reversals. Reversals is the name of the game. The only way to capture the biggest move in the stock market world is reversals, guys. And if you guys literally miss out on this the most important part right there that, that I mentioned, go back in time because you can't miss it. If you miss out, guys, you will lose a lot of money in your trading career. And what was that, that I mentioned? Never forget to wait for the retest on your trade. And you will fail miserably. I'm talking, guys, you will fail miserably into your trading if all you're doing is capturing breakout trades. So, Ryan, what is a breakout trade? Let's say I see the market is coming down, right? So I go ahead and buy some, some shorts or I'll buy some puts right here. So think about it, right? All you're going to do is capture this small baby move right here, which is nothing. However, if you can wait for this pullback right here, like this one right here that I'm going to highlight here in yellow, right? You're able to then get in at a much more better risk to reward. So after you buy a trade and you have a tight stop loss, you can have a bigger risk to reward as you can see, as you can capture a much more bigger move in the stock market world, right? So market structure will be the most important factor into your trading career. Now, if you want to see this on the actual stock chart, let me show you guys what the spy what spy has been doing this past you know this past year so this right here is the uptrend movement on spy if you guys draw a trend line on spy you can easily see that we've been holding this trend line for a large portion of time right large time however guys what happened right here somebody comment in the chat below pause the video real quick right now all right what happened right here in the market what happened right here guys what is this called in the chat say that loud if you know yes you got it i, I heard you <laughs> i heard you on the screen you got it my dog you got it change of character so we were seeing a bunch of upside momentum for a long time and we finally break through this trend line right here let me zoom in, zoom in a little closer and now after what happens after you break through the trend line now spy actually had a pullback to the same trend line right which is your typical entry and we ended up hitting it right here for having a nice downfall movement and now we're now shifted from creating uh, higher lows right here higher highs higher lows higher highs the boom change of characters right here right see it's easy right now we're creating again guys some more lower highs right here lower highs right here again guys right here lower lows right here lower highs and now we're consistently getting into the market where now we're creating this downside momentum push and now why do i say market structure is so important to learn at a foundational level into your trading career it's because you can have all the fancy indicators in the world you can have all the psychology you know any videos whatever you guys learn right but if you don't learn about market structure you will experience pain in your trading career and you will lose miserably you might as well have just not even started trading in the first place so in this channel guys i'm gonna give you guys a lot more free game for your trading career this is a very short and sweet video to learn more about market structure and i want you guys to let me know in the comment section below if this video today was very helpful and i want to see you guys actually try and attempt to learn this on your own time put it into work on your own time look at other stocks other companies in my discord chat we make a a lot of money in my chat as you can see people post profits in my chat every single day he made 216 today he made 650 today right we do not come to play right he made 450 today right and then not only do they make money but i also make money i currently am doing a small account challenge and a large account challenge i begun my account with five thousand bucks a portion of time ago and now as you can see in my chat let's go ahead and see where our account is for the five thousand dollar trading account challenge as you can see we've already got it up to 15 thousand dollars over the span of a week and a half so we do account challenges from 1000 to 10k 500 bucks to 5k 5k to 20k so regardless of where you are into your trading career as far as your money you know what job you are if you guys aren't dig like diligently learning about more education and trying in this game you could risk losing thousands and thousands of dollars just like me into my trading career so if you're new here guys hit the subscribe button below like this video and stay tuned for some more game and feel free to check the tab below in the description if you want to you know get into our discord and learn more about trading personal level with that being said guys looking forward to seeing you on the other side have a blessed day and peace out